The Dynamic Key Action Framework is a plugin for the SKSE that allows modders or users to create custom keybinds for idle animations or actions using JSON format data. This framework is intended to give players more control over their character's behavior in the game. To use the mod, the user creates a JSON file with the desired keybinds and places it under the data, SKSE, plugins, DKAF directory. The plugin will read the JSON file on game launch and load the specified keybinds. The JSON data consists of several fields, including unique name, keys, gamepad keys, paired search mode, paired search disk, paired target keywords, action or idle, press duration, and priority. One of the great features about the Dynamic Key Action Framework mod is that you can trigger any animation you want by pressing any key you want. Open SSE Edit and go to Skyrim ESM, Idle Animation. If you check these, there are behaviors that start with actors in DNAM. Those starting with actors are presumed to be animations of humanoid actors. Copy these animation event names, open nested idle test 2, idle animation and paste them into the animation event of nested idle test 2. In this way, if you access Skyrim and press the hotkey you set, you can output the desired animation behavior. As long as the DNAM file name is in the same path as the screen, you can output not only Skyrim's animations, but also Dawnguard's and Dragonborn's animations. In summary, the Dynamic Key Action Framework mod provides a flexible and customizable way for players to create keybinds for idle animations or actions using JSON format data. With this mod, players can have more control over their character's behavior in the game and create a more personalized gaming experience. However, since these ESPs do not modify other environmental elements of Skyrim, conflicts do not occur, but the number of plugins may be a disadvantage. However, I think it's a great feature that the Dynamic Key Action Framework can output various behaviors animations, like the way I showed you earlier. Not only that, future animation creators may create animation mods based on this mod. So Dynamic Key Action Framework is a great mod that brings innovative features to players and creators alike. Currently this mod is available to all SSCA players, and requires address library for SKSC plugins and SKSC. More detailed features can be found at the source address written down in the YouTube description. And setting subscription like notifications is very helpful for channel growth. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Have fun modding!